You're a merchant who wants to accept Bitcoin at your physical location. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do that using CoinOS or CoinOS. This is a really good system to accept Bitcoin on the Lightning Network and on chain. And I'll explain what that means and all the other things that you need to know for accepting Bitcoin with CoinOS. So first off, let's go to CoinOS.io, C-O-I-N-O-S dot I-O. There's all sorts of information here on this front page that can help you understand how to use this. And of course, I'm gonna go over all of that in this video. So the first thing that you need to do is register. So let's click register here. You can create, uh, you can pick your icon and you can create a username and a password based on your business. So say we are called Bake Shop, right? We just type in Bake Shop, let's create a nice and secure password much more secure than the one that I'm doing right now. And let's register. There's no additional information you need to put in. You don't need to connect this to your email address or anything like this. So this is what this first page looks like. And you can instantly go to receive or you can go to receive up here as well. This is your transaction history and this is to send. And then we have additional options in here, which I'll get into as well. Likely you're gonna be doing a lot of receiving. So let's go to receive. So we have this address right here that if somebody had a lightning wallet that they were sending Bitcoin out to you, they could type this in or they could copy it or they can scan it with a QR code, which I will show you what it, this looks like from the customer's side. But first, let's look at it from your side. So right now we're on the Lightning Network, which is a layer two on Bitcoin. This is for microtransactions, fast transactions, and it's a payment system peer to peer. And then it's ultimately settled on the Bitcoin blockchain. So you can accept Lightning payments or you can click this button over here and it will generate a Bitcoin wallet address. And this is it in QR form as well. So the other thing you can do here is you can create an invoice. So you can set amount and you can set it in dollars or Satoshis, but just by clicking the uh, amount there, let's do $10 and that is 7,013 Satoshis. So right now we're using dollars as a unit of account, but we can um, change that and use the unit of account of the Satoshis, which are fractions of a Bitcoin. So then we press okay. And instead of our regular lightning address it's generated a new one with the additional information that this is an invoice for ten dollars so it's going to be up to your customer to figure out how to do this you can obviously guide them if you do have additional information but for this example this is a customer's wallet wallet of satoshi which is a lightning wallet and it has sixty-five thousand sats in it so then we're going to click send and it brings up my camera i'm just pointing this at my screen right now but this in here is where they would bring up and scan the QR code, see how fast that is. And this is in US dollars, uh, Coinos is in Canadian. You can change the denomination, I'll show you how to do that. But you can see here it's 7,013 sats and you can press send and sending and it's sent and it received it immediately on Coinos, literally the exact same time. So that's how fast that happened. There was zero cost to that, zero additional fees and it happened instantly. We tap anywhere to continue. And if we go into our history, we can see we have this received and you can actually export this as a CSV file so you can keep records of it. And at an accounting perspective, you're going to want to um, type this in as cash received and then there's tax implications if you were to sell this and it's based on the uh, price that you received it as and it's treated as capital gains. So that is for maybe another future video or for further investigation. If you wanted to convert this back into dollars, there, there could be some tax uh, consequence to it or you could convert it back immediately into dollars and you're not having any capital gains or capital loss. So that makes accounting very easy or the thing that, you know, I would highly recommend is that you just hold it in Bitcoin and you build up this balance and uh, Bitcoin's gonna go up in value compared to the dollars. If you did wanna send this though, you would go here to send and you can type in an address. On the back end, it treats any amount in your account as any type of Bitcoin, like if it's Bitcoin on-chain, if it's Lightning or a liquid Bitcoin, which is a side chain. 
Um, so you could type in any types of those addresses and you could send yourself Bitcoin and you would just press next or you would scan the address. If you're using a mobile, that works fairly well. So let's go into a couple settings here. Let's go into settings and we can change our currency right here to whatever currency we wanted to denominate it in. We're going to leave it as Canadian. You can add an email address in here for additional security so that you can have some uh, ability to reset your passwords and things like that. You can set up uh, push notifications so you get payment notifications on your device. So if you had employees, this might be uh, something useful for you. Um, and you could connect this to your employees so that they actually know and have confirmation that they've received money so that somebody doesn't just spoof a payment. Let's go to security here. This is further best practices. You can enable a PIN for this. You can set up 2FA or you can create a non-custodial account. So right now, this money that I have in here, this 7,013 sats, this is held by Coinos. Coinos is giving us permission and the usability to receive and send, and they are actually holding the Bitcoin for you. You don't have full custody of the Bitcoin. You have a claim to the Bitcoin. So further on down the line, you're going to want to take self custody of this Bitcoin in some way. Now, Coinos actually allows you to do this directly in the app. Right again, we go to uh, extra settings, security, and create a non-custodial account. Now, what this does is this creates what's called a software wallet or a hot wallet, and you can generate a seed phrase and actually hold your Bitcoin on CoinOS with a seed phrase. Now, the reason that this is called a hot wallet is this browser, this computer is connected to the internet. So there is some potential vulnerability in holding your Bitcoin in a hot wallet. And there is the other uh, way to hold Bitcoin, which is a cold wallet, which is using a device that isn't connected to the internet when you've generated your seed phrase. And your seed phrase is these words right here. And this is a way to um, translate into your private key. So there's a public key, private key pairing. And again, this is further on down the line. You're not going to worry about this when you have 7,000 sats or $10 worth of Bitcoin. You're going to want to start thinking about this when you have $500 worth of Bitcoin or $500,000 sats. That's when you're going to want to take self-custody and therefore not have to trust CoinOS to hold your Bitcoin for you. You can actually hold your Bitcoin for yourself. So this is a 12 word seed phrase. You would write these down and at any point you could uh, use a hardware wallet, you could use a software wallet, and there's options to recover your Bitcoin. And you would type these in, in order, and you would get access to the Bitcoin that you have in this seed phrase wallet. That's very basically how a seed phrase wallet works. And you would just press next here. You would have to put in your password to finish this. Then you would have a non-custodial wallet on CoinOS. Not the absolute most secure way to hold Bitcoin, but it is one step in self-custody. You can self-custody it, but again, these were generated on a device that was connected to the internet, which creates a vulnerability. So it's best to get a hardware wallet, a cold wallet, and to uh, learn and figure that out when you need to, when the amount of Bitcoin that you have in your wallet is worth protecting and worth taking self-custody of. One other thing that I wanna show you how to do, and I will put some resources in the description of this video for that, is let's create a system where you can print out your lightning address and you could have this on your countertop. So somebody could pay with Bitcoin and you don't have to bring up this browser, create an invoice, any of that. And the way we do that is we're going to go to receive right here and we're going to right click on the URL and we're going to save that image. So in the link in the description, you can download these assets for free. This is just a simple Photoshop file with Bitcoin lightning accepted here. And we're going to import that QR code. So from my downloads, I'm just going to drag this in. This is an image and we're going to resize this to whatever we think kind of works good. We'll center it just above, press done. And now if we were to print this off, we could use scissors, cut it down to size and just laminate it. We could tape it, we could place it 
on our counter. And if somebody was to scan this QR code, it doesn't have a set price that there's, uh, you know, there's no invoice attached to this QR code, but it links them to your account. And they, as the customer, would have to uh, press in the amount of sats or the amount of CAD that they want to send you or USD. Now, if this is too difficult for you to uh, figure out if you don't have access to Photoshop or any uh, photo editing software, you can also just print out the file, the which will be empty, and you can just right click and save this QR code like I showed you on Coinos, and you could print that, and that would be two separate pieces of paper. Then you would cut out the QR code and tape it to the piece of paper that has this printed on it. And that would be a really, really simple way that anyone could create a static LN URL or a address here to accept Bitcoin as payment in their store. Now, the other thing that might be useful for you as a business with employees is if you click this, you're on the main screen of Coinos on your account. If you click this here, and you copy this public URL. So this is coinos.io slash bake shop. And you copy that. And if you use that as the web address for your employees to use, and you don't give them access to this, because if you give them access, if you give them the password, or if you stay signed on to this on a device that they have access to, they could send this Bitcoin off to their own wallet. So what we'll do here is we've, we've copied this public URL. We're now going to sign out. So of course, remember your password, have that all available so that when you want to take custody of the Bitcoin or change anything, you can do that. But we're signed out on the device that the employees are gonna use. Now let's paste in this public URL. And this is all the employees have access to is the, you know, the bake shop here and they can press pay bake shop and they can type in again, $10, which is now 7,017 sats. You press next and it generates that invoice. And you have Bitcoin option, lightning option, and you can change some information or go back and your employees can accept payments, but not have access to the Bitcoin in the Coinos custody wallet. So that's about it. I've tried to generally cover everything that you need to know as an employer or as an employee and how to set this up for yourself. Uh, there is the additional sort of task of say, taking self custody, which I've only just scratched the surface on. You do need to learn a little bit more about that and you could reach out to me directly. There's a link to do that in the description. You can, uh, if somebody's helping you onboard, maybe you can ask some questions about that. You can research how to take self custody of your Bitcoin um, just on YouTube. You can go to some Bitcoin meetups, ask some questions. There's all types of people out there that want to help you on board onto Bitcoin. Thanks for looking into how to accept Bitcoin as payment. This is the future of the monetary system, in my opinion, and the more people that accept it, the more people can use it and spend it and the better off we will all be. So thank you very much for taking the initiative to accept Bitcoin as payment at your business. And we will see you later.